Hello, this is Greg Brzezinski for Beard Brand Alliance. Let's talk about TikTok, that social media app that seems to be taking over the world. You better watch out, YouTube. That's right, everyone seems to be jumping over on TikTok. And jumping is a lot of what's happening on TikTok. You see a lot of people dancing, you see a lot of people jumping around, you see a lot of comedy, you see a lot of things. But do we see a lot of beards? Stay tuned as we take a look at the beards of TikTok. TikTok, if you've been under a rock, is a social media app uh, that is short uh, format, vertical format, and you see a lot of people doing comedy routines, you see a lot of people talking, you see a lot of people presenting issues, photographers doing their thing, videographers doing their thing, a lot of dancing things, and just a lot of celebrities in general have jumped over on TikTok. To tell you my story about TikTok, about six years ago, I was approached by the company uh, that was rebranding uh, the app and we're going to turn it into TikTok. And they said, hey, we would like you to make some content for the new app. And um, I'm like, okay, uh, do you have an example of it? So they sent me a bunch of uh, teens, 15 year old uh, girls and guys doing little uh, skits, uh, little dance routines. And I thought, what on earth would they be wanting someone like me on the app? And so I declined the offer. Big mistake, big mistake. Obviously, it was a big mistake that I declined the offer. And I just actually got on TikTok this year. Uh, I did not like it initially, uh, especially during the election cycle. It was, I thought, uh, tick toxic and was not a fan of the app. I had this uh, since in Improved, I think, in terms of how, the way the algorithm sends you material. Um, so I end up seeing things that I'm much more interested in. Um, but um, a lot of people are on TikTok. And so I want to talk to you about our beards on TikTok. Do you see guys um, with beards on TikTok? Now, the app seems to be geared, as originally, as I said, towards 13 to 18 year olds. And that is the majority of the people who are on TikTok but daily. The numbers are uh, growing, ages are growing, and you get a lot of uh, Gen X, you get a lot of Millennials, and you get a lot of uh, these kind of guys, even on TikTok. But since the app was initially directed towards uh, the young, you see a lot of people who actually make content for the young and make content as young people. So uh, first up here, we have dancer uh, Mara Hanna and Babyface Kid, and he's only 16 years old, makes uh, great dancing videos, but directing his content uh, to his age demographic, he looks like his age demographic. Actually, he looks much younger than his age demographic, uh, but it is working for him. Uh, I see a lot of guys like Charlie uh, Puth uh, on the app, as well as uh, Noah Beck, uh, who have just the trace of a mustache, um, once again, playing up to a younger demographic. Can they grow beards? Not quite sure, but they never uh, venture off into a bearded place. Um, there are some people who trend on TikTok who don't even have the app themselves. Recently, uh, Olympic fever swept and we saw Olympic swimmer Caleb Dressel claiming a lot of the Olympic gold. And he's not even on TikTok, and yet he is trending all over TikTok. And so, um, once again, here's a swimmer, no beard, no mustache. You see a lot of beards maybe in water polo, but not so much in competitive swimming. But um, these guys all represent the, uh, what you might uh, think of the youth of TikTok. But there's a whole series of guys who are uh, venturing off and wearing beards of some type. Um, the next group of guys here are um, people that you will recognize and people if you're not on TikTok, you probably should get to know. Um, Justin Bieber has, uh, you know, has a reputation of once being this a very young guy. He's a very youthful looking man now himself. And from time to time, he will sport uh, a um, mustache, single mustache, or what I'm calling the dirty beard. And you see a lot of the dirty beard on TikTok. So the whole next set of guys represent guys who have what I say is the dirty beard. And what it is, is just letting your facial hair come in, in no matter what state it is, and doing no grooming whatsoever. Party Shirt is a pair of guys um, who obviously can grow beards and uh, choose to keep their beards down to a stubble. I think they could probably grow more of a beard and do they fit into the dirty beard category? Not sh quite sure, but they're not 
clean shaven either. So you see a lot of guys who are venturing into a stubble and then if they let it go a little more, you go into the dirty beard category. So under the true category of dirty beard, we have uh, DJ Diplo, um, who has 1.6 million followers, who has the blonde beard. You can see not fully connected, not uh, totally thick, but a great look. I say all of these beards have a great look. Um, I, I pulled my daughter, who's in her early 20s, and some of her friends, and they like guys who have a obvious beard or who show beard and it doesn't have to be thick mountain man beard. And so um, I think that's what's happening with more and more people wearing beards. Um, you're getting acceptance of degrees of like perfection within beards and that people are generally okay with seeing um, what had previously been um, a patchy beard, a beard that uh, was not you know, performing well per se, but um, a lot of people like to see you know, beards on guys and guys in their late teens and 20s. And so a lot of these guys, you know, are in their, you know, that age demographic. Um, what is it? Ch uh, Tom Hanks Wild, I, I wrote down here, Tom Hanks Wild Son. What is it? Uh, Chet Hanks? Chet Hanks. I got it. I got it. Um, anyhow, who wears, um, you know, a um, beard of uh, probably about four weeks. Um, once again, not fully connected, um, but um, on TikTok, rocking uh, this kind of uh, dirty beard. Um, KCK Fry, we have KCK Fry, same kind of beard. A lot of these guys, have, it's the same kind of beard. Uh, David Rodriguez, um, who has 7 million followers on TikTok, French guy, who has, um, once again, a beard that is not fully connected, that is not uh, uber, you know, strength, uh, that is not fully connected, not uber strong, but once again, rocking it confidently. And you see that. I think guys are less um, you know, hung up on the fact that their beards don't match what they think a perfect beard is. And I think that's a great place that we've all gotten to in life where there's a sense of accepting you know, what your facial hair is, accepting your um, head, head hair, and rocking what you have with confidence. Um, also in that list, we have the news guy from uh, TikTok. Um, he has millions of followers, you know, and his feed is categorized by the fact that he generally always looks the same in all of his videos that he puts up. That's Marcus Dipalola, um, who's the, as I said, the TikTok news guy. Once again, rocking a beard that is not big, full, uh, mountain man-like. And once again, all of these guys rocking those beards with confidence. Um, there are a number of guys on uh, TikTok that have, you know, pretty full beards, that have the potential to grow full beards. Um, you have someone like Drake, uh, who can grow a massive beard, who has a really good mustache. Um, he changes it up all the time. You'll see him with stubble, you'll see him with uh, chin trap, you'll see him with a full beard. You see more and more guys, even in the entertainment industry, rocking beards. Um, you have someone like Jake Paul. Uh, recently, Eric made a video about his haircut and how he was wearing his hair. He's often been wearing a beard. He has the blonde beard, um, which um, a lot of guys um, are uncomfortable rocking the blonde beard because sometimes it's not um, always visible. I find that's the same with my beard. I have a white beard, and in the wintertime with white skin, you don't always see you know, a nice sharp line. So I'm actually thankful for some sun right now. Uh, that I can see a break between my skin and my beard. Um, but Jake Paul has worn a beard and has made ceremoniously, ceremonial videos about cutting his beard off. Um, Thorin Bra uh, Bradley um, is wearing what probably people consider to be, you know, the classic beard, the beard of, uh, that a lot of guys want to wear. Um, it's a beard that he wears with ease. It also looks like a beard that is very low maintenance, a beard that comes in very quickly. This last guy on the list doesn't wear a full beard. He wears a pretty magnificent mustache, but you can see the amount of hair that this guy has on his face. He could rock a full beard probably by six o'clock tonight if he didn't shave that morning. Um, and that's, uh, I'm gonna look at my cheat sheet here. Um, what is it, Ben Kowalis? Kyle, I should be able to pronounce this, it's obviously Polish. Um, ben Kielasenski, um, uh, as I said, 
has the potential to grow a massive beard. But I love the fact, uh, like Justin Bieber, chose to wear just a solo mustache. Uh, this guy's choosing to wear, you know, a, um, a solo mustache himself on his great uh, adventure kind of content. So that's it. Uh, some of my takes on the guys of TikTok and what they're doing. As far as trending, um, you know, I still think it's an app that represents um, a youth kind of culture. But as the app gets older, Facebook started out as a kid place and has morphed into some place where your mom and dad hang out. Um, and all of the apps seem to age in place. Instagram is aging in place. Will TikTok age in place? Will we see more older guys? Hey, maybe you'll see this guy, Brzezinski1, on TikTok. Wait, you do see Brzezinski1 on TikTok. And please check out, when you're on TikTok, check out the Beard Brand TikTok account. It is on fire. Um, Beard Brand has been on TikTok for no more than two or three months. And um, just the videos that have gone viral are, you know, just amazing. So are you a TikTok fan? Are you an Instagram fan? Are you a YouTube fan? I guess you're here, you're a YouTube fan. But are you checking out what's happening over on the other social media apps? Until we meet again. <laughs> oh! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All, right. All right. This is a boss car, dude. <laughs>